What's up, everybody? My name is Tony, and I'm here with another Warframe video. In this video, we're looking at Umbra Valkyr Prime with one build only. That is the Hysteria slash uh, Warcry build. Uh, so first off would be the Focus Tree. You want to make sure you get a Moderite for the Valkyr Prime Talons. You want to make sure that you get uh, Sacrificial Steel because if you don't use Sacrificial Steel, you don't get that 160 or over 150 a critical chance you basically get 110 so make sure you get a sacrificial steal you don't have to form this as you guys can see that I form most of the other slots here so uh, when it comes to uh, status you don't want to put status here because if you do you want to get like a boost of like 6% on a 60% chance of a status mod here so that's not definitely not worth it you guys um, but for sure you might want to add the um, uh, critical mods here and then you can just add these slash uh, weapons here uh, even with the slash nerf, I believe there was a nerf on slash, I think. Um, so it's still pretty strong. For the weapons, you guys don't have to uh, use this. You don't have to um, really have to use weapons here. You just you, mainly you're going to be using your, um, your your melee weapon for sure. You'll be using your melee weapon for sure and your uh, prime talents. So for the melee weapon, I'm using Venka because why not? I mean, come on, it's it's Valkyrie, right? So I do have a ribbon here for this, and that's basically a. Uh, it's not that bad ribbon actually. It's even at the disposition of one, it's still pretty good for melee damage and common duration. Uh, but again, you know, just straight out, just try and get yourself um, uh, a good, just good builds here. It's up to you guys, really, if you're going to if you guys are going to be using a Vinka ribbon, actually. I mean, Vinka weapon. Make sure you uh, at least get some critical uh, stuff here. Uh, but you guys can put in some status stuff here if you want. For instance, uh, vicious frost. Uh, it will be nice here as well because it does add a bit of status just put weeping wounds after that and you should be able to nail at least 20% status but for me I'm using crits because why not for the arcanes I use arcane fury with arcane energized make sure that they are rank 5 for both of them uh, with nerf with the I think there's a nerf on the arcanes now where they have duration and such so uh, make sure that uh, you guys are absolutely sure you know how to use Arcane Energize. So you don't, you can't really like um, spam pick up on energy orbs and hope. Hopefully you get Arcane Energize. So once in a, like 15 seconds you pick up an energy orb and there's a chance you will get uh, double energy. So if you guys time your pickups, um, you will try. You can probably nail almost infinite duration. But with the with but if you're solo killing killing everybody, um, most of the time you won't be able to. Uh, keep your hysteria up, but maybe in a pub game of four people, maybe you can. So I have Eternal War Augment. For sure, you need the tablets. Otherwise, your Warcry will be useless a little bit uh, because this will give you infinite duration of Warcry, um, which basically means you get 121 armor increase with speed increase and speed decrease. Now, the speed decrease is probably capped around 75. Um, and and since Nova's uh, Miracle Prime operates the same as this, just I mean same uh, um, same mechanic of speed decrease. Uh, around 70 is fine. They will be slowed down uh, for the time slash kill duration uh, for Eternal War. That's five seconds. That's good enough. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really take you five seconds to kill something. Uh, it takes for me. It takes like one second, probably less than that. I don't, um, I'm not sure though. Uh, so for the speed increase though, that is basically the attack speed. So that will give you a lot. And for the armor increase, that is actually a lot. If you think about it, it's if you do the math, it's probably a lot because um, if you just use Warcry alone, you should be taking enough. You got 700 armor, right? So basically, if you use Warcry, and, and keep in mind, I have energy conversion here. So energy conversion with Warcry, it's it's crazy. Um, just to give you an idea. So that's like 149, 149, 75 uh, capped and 5.09. I don't think that's, I think that's duration based, so don't worry about that. But now if you switch it back. That's basically going to what it's going to be. I, I already forgot the numbers, but um, that's basically what's going to be if you switch it up. So that's basically what you get, basically. So without the negative duration. So uh, when it comes to the the final mod, so once you get all these mods, when it comes to the final mod, uh, you want to get streamline, other than Augur message, because if you take a good look at the hysteria of uh, uh, stats here, 1.11 uh, for for the drain on energy. Check this out. 1.27, so that makes a little bit difference, but still, it's definitely worth grabbing a streamline. Just put it on here. Might as well. Might, might as well make all your, um, both of your abilities pretty cheap uh, to use. So, uh, so that is the build. When you guys are using aura mods, make sure you have steel charge as well as coaction drift. You definitely want these two together. Uh, for the, 
for for that for using this build, what I do is I use Warcry first. So I so I try to get an energy as soon as possible. Uh, not not Zenerec uh, energizing dash. I'm talking about energy orbs. Try to pick up at least one energy orb so you can proc off your energy conversion. Cast Warcry and keep try to keep this up while killing enemies on your way to get the, to getting the second. Um, to get in a second uh, uh, energy orb for your hysteria. Now your hysteria won't probably last that long. Uh, I tried my best to try and make it super long, but I just can't because of amount of enemies. This is for solo, by the way. Okay, so this is basically for solo because most of the time when when you're four pause, most of the time I would say you can keep this up for for a pretty long time. But for the uh, for solo, pretty sure you guys won't be able to. But that's okay because with the War Cry's armor boost, you should be tanking enough to tank like a lot of damage. And I'll show you that in the uh, gameplay demo very soon. So I'm going to show you guys the attack speed for War Cry, as well as the attack speed without War Cry. Now I have Berserker on on my talents, but I'm not going to sh I'm not going to show you that because it's 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 really fast enough. Uh, you guys can probably get a good idea on that. So this is with the Arcane Energize, not Arcane Energize, uh, with the uh, engine conversion. I mean that's fast enough. You're you're one shotting everything regardless, and I'll show you that in a in a few minutes. Um, so this is really fast enough to kill everything, so you won't have that much problem here. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate some enemies here while I wait for the uh, war cry to uh, be gone. Let's go ahead and put on some stuff here. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of. I'm actually gonna keep all those. Uh, most of the time they were gonna be attacking each other, but that's fine. I'm gonna pause them real quick so they don't attack each other just yet. So I can show you the attack speed for the hysteria. So for hysteria, the attack speed is pretty uh, pretty low. Uh, keep in mind, I don't have arcane strike here, so that's without the um, the buff. So again, just use war cry first because you're already tanking enough, and then just use um, this next afterwards. Now keep in mind that your hysteria can uh, basically life steal. So if you're low on HP. While using only Warcry, you could just activate Hysteria, kill an enemy or two, and then turn it off, and then you should get your in or your your health back. So I'm going go to show you guys the simulation right now for this, or the damage, I guess, so you guys can see. This is with Hysteria, by the way, and then um, hopefully it meets your requirements. Hopefully it satisfy uh, satisfy your your needs here. Oh, I fell off. God damn it. That's fine. That moment when you step on uh, that grass thing. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to try it without hysteria so you guys can see uh, the amount of damage you can you, you can do. Now, with a Venka, of course. I'm using Venka, remember that, so... So that's basically without the hysteria. Of course, it's not that ideal here because these enemies are pretty tough. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a easier enemy here. Let's go for two disruptors only. Level one sanity. Let's do that. Uh, let's do two of these. Without energy. Uh, oh wait, I actually need the energy. Without the energy conversion. <sighs> Shoot, man, that's too quick. Whatever. So, um. That's basically that. You're basically tanky. I'm going to show you how tanky you can be, actually. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, so you guys can have an idea of when, if you guys are going to want to use this. You guys don't have to use the Warcry if you're going to be using Hysteria only. Uh, but I recommend still with Hysteria because, I mean, well, I mean with Warcry because with the attack speed, right? So I'm show you guys how tanky I can be for around 20 seconds. Now, I'm probably going to stay here until I die, but we'll see how long they kill me. These are level 170. Keep in mind about that. So one shot me, okay, that's fine. But let's try with uh, uh, bullets, maybe, or grenades, maybe. We'll try that and see how much damage they can do on me. We'll go with 100, though. Let's make it more more reasonable here. Let's make it 100. And then we'll do only... Um, let's do corpus first, and then we'll do uh, um, grenades, and then maybe organ, but... Ugh. I don't think he'll be fighting organs that much. All right, let's try these guys. Let's do three, just in case, because these are like... Actually, let me get rid of the disruptor. I actually forgot to remove those. Oh, 
Oops. Okay, so this is with your melee out, though, okay? So usually when you have melee out, you take less damage. Because um, obviously you're going to be using your melee when it comes to uh, Warcry. Okay, they can't do shit, so... Let me... Let me Oh my lord, okay. So that's basically what happens. Um, damn, okay, my carry just wiped the floor of the, off that guy. So that's fine. I'm gonna show you the Grenier's now. Uh, let's go ahead and show you Grenier's. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. All right, it's right here. Okay, let's do with two of these guys and then we'll call it, actually no, I'm gonna go Oregon as well and then we'll, I'll show you guys the demo for this. Oh, forgot to take out my weapon. So that's without, so as you guys can see it, that's without my melee weapon. We'll try it again. I forgot to, walk, to take out my melee weapon. Ooh, bomb. Let's go. Oh, it's too far. Never mind. Oh, my carrier is killing these guys without me doing crap. Come on. I'm gonna go far. See if my sweeper prime is actually pretty strong. Come on. Alright, so, if I just turn around, there we go. Come on, come on. There we go. So you guys can see that I'm pretty tanky. Just 9 damage off. This Grenier is being a tool right now. Just What is he doing? Come on. He's, he's running away. Already, he already, He's already scared of me being so tanky. Look at this. Now I'm not tanky anymore because I don't have that thing on. There we go. So that's how much damage you do. Um, I mean, how much damage you take? It's not that much. If you're attacking, obviously you're not gonna be standing still. But uh, again, you know, just straight up, how tanky you can be right there. Uh, again, just use Warcry first, and then if you need to HP, just use Hysteria. But you can also use Warcry and then Hysteria if you want. Uh, again, though, um, that's just an option right there. So this build is pretty strong. It's it's good all around defense, uh, survival, um, anything. Just name it. Uh, obviously, it's not getting arbitra arbitrations, but I'm gonna show you a gameplay for that of arbitration, so you guys can see how how I use it in our arbitrations. Because your Hysteria can't really kill. Um, they can't really kill the uh, the drones, so obviously you got to use Warcry on that and with your melee weapon to kill them. But you know that's that's just uh, that's a simple thing, really. So if you guys enjoy this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to support my channel, and then hopefully I get enough subscribers by the end of this year, because that would mean a lot to me if I can't get that much, and then be able to get uh, better gear for better videos because right now I know my videos are kind of crappy right now but that's fine uh, I'm just here to help you guys out not here for like uh, quality -ness. here just to try to help you um, try to get stronger and such you know help you with builds help you with stuff in my opinion the best builds out there uh, I know there's other builds out there for all the other warframes and this warframe that's actually might be better than this but it's up to play style but if you guys are looking for like um, fast missions or doing things fast. This my builds are mostly for that. All of my builds are mostly for that. Uh, no stalling, nothing bullshit like that. Just straight out, straight up, just one minute of of like missions basically, and just to finish everything off as fast as possible. That's how I play my Warframe. So hopefully, hopefully this this guide helped you guys a little bit, give you some insight. It might be too basic to already uh, be like known. So maybe maybe you guys already know about this build already and such. So again, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the gameplay demo right now.